Okay, so I thought I'd just take a moment out of my time and show you some of the cool stuff on the web. If you're following the Kyle Rittenhouse case, you'll want to see these pages, all right? And number one up, Achille Kenosha, Jacob Blake to Kyle Rittenhouse, and he's got day one in here, and that is Matt Orfelia, and I hope I'm pronouncing his name right. But I'm, by the way, I'm going to put links to all these videos in my description below. Um, if you haven't seen this, you have to see it. And it's going to be a part of one of five. He starts off with day one here with all the riots and the burning. And I'm telling you, if you can watch this without having your blood boil, you are legally blind. So again, Matt Orfelia, outstanding video. He doesn't put any narrative on there. He's not telling you what to think. He's just showing you what's happening. And that's enough. This is a channel called Good Luck America. It's by Rick Gore. He's a former cop. I've been following him for years. Yeah, he sometimes pisses me off with some of his opinions. However, he's doing a really good job on the Kyle Rittenhouse case. He's basically making commentary on all these witnesses, and he has a lot of courtroom experience. Most of his commentary is aimed at what these guys should have said, what the defense should have asked, those kind of things. Pretty keen, uh, if you can get past some of his uh, yeah, uh, boomerisms, I guess, if you want to say it, um, by all means, watch this. Uh, he's really quite good. Most of his stuff is aimed at law enforcement, especially uh, a police abuse, uh, times when police have stepped outside of their authority and have done bad things. He's all over bad cops, and he's a former cop himself. So good luck, America. Check out his channel but especially look at his Kyle Rittenhouse stuff. And, of course, I think you need to go to Logical Checkmate. There's a whole bunch of videos here, a lot of it on Kyle Rittenhouse. He's from the Czech Republic, Czechoslovakia. And he has a lot of commentary on Kyle Rittenhouse. He's a staunch supporter of Kyle, and he's been with Kyle pretty much from day one. And I can't mention Logical Checkmate without also mentioning The Radio, another one who has done a lot of work with Kyle Rittenhouse. Uh, he's the one that sort of exposed Joshua Zeminski early on. So he has a lot of important things to say about Kyle Rittenhouse. Go to his channel, check out some of his videos. The Kenosha County Eye. This is the newspaper in Kenosha that's all over Binger. This is a very much a pro-Kyle newspaper, and the editor is, guess who? Kevin Matthewson. Uh, remember the commander of the Kenosha Guard? At any rate, he's running it, and they have a lot of great articles in here. If you really need to stay on top of some of the juicy stuff that the mainstream is not reporting, Kenosha County Eye is a must-read. Let's take a look at some of the articles they have up now. John Antimeranian's Kenosha. City is one murder away from triple the average. They've had a lot of killings. It says here, early Sunday, November 7th, the city of Kenosha had its 14th homicide. Keep in mind, this is a town of 100,000 people. Wow. And, of course, they've had some really bad ones. You've had Crystal Kaiser. You've had Kyle Rittenhouse. You have the dude who chopped up his parents when they tried to stop him from raping his cousin. And then you had the guy who went in that tavern and shot six people, killing three. So they've been busy prosecuting there. Uh, look at this. Uh, KCE obtains Rittenhouse search warrant that prosecutors told police to ignore. And Rittenhouse prosecutor told police not to execute search warrant signed by judge to view Crosskreutz's cell phone. So there's a lot of great articles in here. Uh, you should really subscribe, get on their email list, because that's how you keep up on all things Kenosha. And Viva Fry, of course. Now, he's an attorney out of Canada. He's had Robert Barnes on many times. Just about every time that Robert comes on, they talk Kyle Rittenhouse. Uh, most of you already know about this one, though. But this is a really good channel. Uh, I always enjoy watching this. And Nate the Lawyer, kind of along the same idea. He's a lawyer. He has a lot of interesting insights in the Kyle Rittenhouse deal. And he firmly believes that Kyle Rittenhouse is not guilty. Here is a guy that you really got to watch. That is Andrew Bronca. He's the foremost self-defense expert in the country. He's very much a solid pro-Kyle. And in fact, he worked with Kyle 
when he was undergoing that extradition hearing. So he's been on Kyle Rittenhouse's team before. And so if you really want to go and learn a lot about self-defense, especially with it, when it comes to Kyle Rittenhouse, Andrew Bronca is the man. So I hope that helps. If you're interested in any of these, I'm going to go ahead and link all of them in the description below and have a good day.